What is the weakest mob in all of Minecraft? Some might say it's the rabbit, while others might simply say it's the fish. However, both of these people are wrong. The weakest mob in Minecraft is definitely the chicken, which is why I have taken the chicken and given him an upgrade. Introducing the Mecha Chicken, a super strong chicken with insane chicken powers. And now I'm gonna be able to play as the Mecha Chicken in game for the next 100 days, all while three chefs try and hunt me down for my Mecha eggs. On day one, I spawned in as a tiny Mecha Chick, but there's a massive problem with being a Mecha Chick, and it's that I only have five hearts of HP right now. But that's normal in these kind of videos. What isn't normal is my new Mecha Chicken upgrade menu, where I literally cannot unlock anything, meaning we're gonna have to escape the old-fashioned way. Now, right now, you're gonna see I'm in this wooden fence box, and the three chefs are literally right over there. But the second I leave these fences, they're gonna start trying to kill me. But I have a secret up my sleeve. Every few minutes, this Mecha Chicken is gonna spawn in a Mecha Egg, which is basically just a lucky block. So let's just run away from them for now and use our Mecha Eggs when they spawn in to get away. Now, it looks like they have squirt guns in their hands. And since I'm a Mecha Chick, you know, water's gonna hurt me. So we need to get out of here quick. We're gonna go through this door right here. Oh, wait, wait a minute. They can't hurt me in this box. I can cut down this tree for free. Ha ha! Hey, that's a cheating. Calm down, Gordon Ramsay. There's no such thing as cheating in my Minecraft video. Okay, here we go. Gonna take this tree while I'm safe because it's right here in spawn. And now we're gonna run. We're gonna run so fast. Oh, we got an apple too. That's kind of key. We're in an abandoned village. So we're just gonna look to escape from these three guys. Now the question is, where are we gonna hide? There's like nowhere to hide. Whatever, we're going for it. We're going for it. We're going for it. Go, 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 go. Get the go. Dude, after him. Oh, here they come. We gotta be careful of those squirt guns. Uh, there's a forest up here. Let's get to this forest. We can hide in there. That's gonna be the easiest place to hide for now. And hopefully we get a mecha egg soon. Go, 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 go. Get him. Okay, they're getting a little close. Let's go down this hill. Down this hill is the forest. Let's go. We can hide in here. Break this leaf. We're down. Nice. We're in the forest. <gasps> we got a mecha egg. Let's find a place we can hide and let's open this mecha egg. <gasps> there's a cave right here. Let's go in this cave. Okay, if I put down the mecha egg. Oh! No, 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 no. Okay, that was not a lucky mecha egg. And now um, I just fell in a giant hole. And again, I am nauseous as a mecha chicken in water. It is so hard to see right now. Oh, no, 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 no. And the hunters are right above me. No, this is not good. I think there's a cave I can escape into right here. Yes, there is. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, no spiders. Oh, we're in a lot of trouble. This is not a good spot to be in. Well, we have some logs. Let's go and let's make a crafting table. We can make a weapon here. Hold on. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Make some sticks, make ourselves a sword. Now we can just make ourselves a quick wooden pickaxe. Kill off this spider. There we go. There we go. There we go. We just need some stone from the ceiling now. Now let's go and let's make ourselves a stone sword because it's a little bit stronger. And then we can make ourselves a stone pickaxe. Okay, there's literally some iron right here. We're having to work extra quick here just to stay alive. <gasps> creeper, creeper, creeper. Okay, we got another mecha egg. We got another mecha egg. I'm going to put this down. Oh, please do not do anything bad this time. Whoa! Warden! Not a warden. Are you kidding me? Oh, I just saw a player fly by. We gotta go this way. Into the wall, into the wall, into the wall. Just grab a block, grab a block, grab a block. Put it in front of you. Ding, 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 ding. They're gonna find me so fast. Oh my God, go, 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 go. Oh, this is terrifying. Okay, they're all around me. I see their names everywhere. They're over here. They're over by the warden, I think. Let's swim up this path a little bit. <gasps> nope, they're in the water, they're in the water. I found him, I found him. Ow, <laughs> ah, no. I killed one, I killed one, I killed one. Oh, quick, back in the hole, back in the hole, back in the hole. Okay, good, we're back in the hole, we're back in the wall. I see one of them over there. We gotta be super careful. How am I gonna get out of here? <gasps> one's right there, one's right there, one's right there. Okay. Oh, I hit water, I hit a path of water. This could be huge. <gasps> This is my way out. I got an idea. Oh, come on. Yes. Okay. Okay. Start digging up. There we go. We're getting out of here. We're getting out of here. Two of them are still down there and one's probably up above. There we go. We're up in another cave, but we can get out of here. We can get out of here. Okay. Their names are still below us. We'll just keep going up. We hit dirt. We're getting to the surface. We're up. We're up. We're up. We're up. We're up. Let's go. Surprise, chicken. Oh, run. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. The other two are still down there. So I think we're good. Get rid of this one. Get rid of this one. Let's go across the hills. I got an idea. Did I not take fall damage? Oh, I don't think I take fall damage. Let's go. In the water. I'm going to get nauseous. It's worth it, though. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Okay, there we go. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, we need one more broken. Come on. We got one below us. We got 12 dirt. Jump here. Up. Make it. Yes. We made it. We're going to get in this forest. Let's go. Whoa, there we go. Go, 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 go. Let's just go this way. We can lose him here. We can lose him here for sure. Snow is kind of useful. Go up here. Oh, my God. I can get away here for sure. I'm gonna get away. <gasps> Never mind. Get back here, Mecha Chicken. Go, Mecha Chicken, go. Run with your little sword in your mouth. I have an idea. He's coming through the forest and... Yes, we can oh, find him. What? what? Yes, no, we got him. He's done. Dude. He's done. He's done. He's done. He's done. Now we just need to get far away from here. Far, far away from here and start working on a base. It's night, so we're going to have to be a little careful, too. Let's just go find a base. Okay, so after escaping as the Mecha Chick, it was time to build our first base somewhere in the world. Now, normally, I tend not to go crazy far from spawn because I know I'm going to have to find the hunters, <coughs> chefs, at some point. But just because I feel super weak, I decided to build my base over 2,000 blocks away. So before we continue with the video, I wanted to take a sec to simply tell you guys... 
thank you. It's been a little over two years since me and my team started making these 100 day videos and we want to keep making them even bigger and better. So as Christmas is coming up, I wanted to make something special for you guys. We've spent the last months creating special Rai Guy 100 days merchandise from the ground up and it's finally ready. We have 100 days signed posters, a comfy warm hoodie with a shirt to match and a black shirt that is my personal favorite. So to celebrate the launch today on Black Friday, everything is discounted on the store up to 30% off through the end of the month. So head on over to my website, ryguy.shop, or simply scan the QR code you see on screen right now to get your very own Ryguy 100 Days merch. Okay, welcome to the first Mecha Chicken base. So let me actually show you the base. The base is pretty simple overall. We have my bed, my little survival area. If we go up this little staircase, we'll end up at a balcony, which actually seconds as an escape route. So I can actually open this trap door and drop into the water down below. And then over this way, I keep an infinite lava source just around this corner and through this little door right here. And that leaves only one thing left to show off in this base. And that's literally the front door, which is just this little trap door area right here, which makes it so you can't really fit through without opening it. And then you end up in this giant cave, which I honestly thought just looked kind of nice. Anyway, now that you've seen the base, it's time to actually keep upgrading our mecha chick. And we're gonna get something that's a little bit messed up. But first things first, I have a few extra mecha eggs. Let's use them and let's see what we actually get. I gotta be careful here, because like I said, these things can summon some wacky things. So let's go test them over there. Let's test down here. Here we go. Let's do the first one. Oh! Oh, we already have fresh new armor. We have diamond tools. Oh, this is life changing. We got two more mecha eggs to go. Let's hope they're lucky like that one. Please be lucky. <gasps> what happened? Something's falling from the sky. <gasps> diamonds! No way! Oh my god, it just rained diamonds from the sky. Every mecha egg I've opened before this has been unlucky, so I'm genuinely shocked. Okay, we still have one more to go. Oh! Ah! Okay, this one to go. Ow! He gave me slowness! Oh, I'm leaving. Get away! Anyway, after rudely being slowed by a witch, it's time to work on our first upgrade on our upgrade menu, and we're gonna work on the Chick-fil-A upgrade. Yes, it's messed up. No, I don't care. Basically, it's an unlimited chicken tender <laughs> I could eat, and I can unlock it pretty easily. We just need to get eight cooked chicken, which I have, and then we just need a map and 24 pointed dripstone. So let's start by getting the dripstone, because it really shouldn't be too hard to find some. Now, this cave does not have any dripstone, but I believe I saw some dripstone. I'm gonna go double check. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I could not find a single dripstone biome in that cave. So I'm just gonna look for surface caves that have dripstone. Booyah, there's some dripstone down there. So let's just dive on down and let's grab it before the lava takes it. Okay, so we need a bunch of this pointed dripstone. Specifically, we need 24. So we just grab a bunch of these spikes. And there we go. That's all the pointed dripstone we need. And now we just need to make an empty map. And we can craft one by simply putting a compass with a bunch of paper. But uh, the sun's starting to set. So let's actually just head back to the base. And we make that compass first. And then we'll get the paper tomorrow. Okay, so let's grab our iron from this chest and some redstone from this one. And then we can make ourselves a compass. And now let's just go outside and get a bunch of paper. Now I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to make paper in Minecraft. You literally just need to grab sugar cane. So we're going to grab a bunch of this. And now we need to find a little bit more like these guys right here. And now we're good. So let's just go up here and chop a log. Turn that log into a crafting table. And now turn all the sugar cane into paper, which will allow us to make ourselves a blank map. And now we can unlock Chick-fil-A. You'll see we have this chicken drumstick that sits in my mouth. And I can eat this thing infinitely for food. So now I no longer need to actually carry any food on me. So first upgrade complete. Okay, so now that we're done with Chick-fil-A, it's time to work on our next tier one ability, which is called the metallic talent. This is basically just like a chicken's foot. You know, they have talons on them. Yeah, mine's that just metal. And to unlock it actually isn't too difficult. We just have to obtain not today. Thank you land 10 critical hits on entities and kill two players Okay, so the first item on that list is getting not today Thank you, which is an advancement you get in the nether and I haven't even gone to the nether So I don't even have the tab to look at it So to do that we obviously need a bunch of obsidian which isn't too hard since we just got a diamond pickaxe for free So let's dive on down and let's go get ourselves some obsidian Let's actually make ourselves a bucket real quick and grab some water because we're gonna need that to make some obsidian And now I can take this water. Yes. Okay, we grabbed some water Let's just go find ourselves a proper lava pool. Oh, this will do I go back this way Oh, I can I can go back right here. Boom. We made it. Yes. Okay. Now let's just mine some of this stuff up. Okay, there we go. Our mecha chick officially has 10 obsidian. So now let's just build another portal on the wall right here because this looks like a good spot for it. What is back here? Oh my God. We found a little water cave. Look at this. It's like a hidden water cave. We're going to make a little blockade. Ready? And now we just need to get a flint for flint and steel. Okay, let's just grab some of the gravel outside. There's one flint. That's all we needed. Now we simply combine the flint with an iron ingot, and that's going to get us a flint and steel, which allows us to light off our nether portal. And I'm actually going to sneak behind the nether portal real quick and break a hole in the ground and open up to the water cave. So now if we go behind our nether portal, we also have access to a secret water cave that the hunters won't know about. But anyway, we have to get return to sender. So let's go to the nether. Okay, they need this gas to shoot at me. Come on, get your attention. Yes, look at me. Oh, what? Now he wants me. He wants me. Oh, I got to be careful. Oh, I missed that. Come on, that was timed so well. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Yes! We got return to sender. Wait, that's return to sender? Not today, thank you. Do I? No way, I have my quest mixed up. Return to sender, destroy. No way. Which one am I supposed to be doing? Not today, thank you. Deflect a projectile with shield. What? Wait a minute. So if I just block the fireball with my shield, would that have counted? Hold on, I gotta test this real quick. Hit me, please! 
Yes, we got not today. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now that we've gotten not today, thank you, the advancement, we just have two quests to complete, which you can see now in the corner of my screen because we finally got that to work again. So I just have to land 10 critical hits on a bunch of entities. So if I just go out to the cave real quick, I'm pretty sure I can just get those kills needed. So let's just go down to the cave and let's just start battling some mobs. Okay, here we go. We got one right here. Okay, that's four hits. These should each take at least two hits. Never mind. Yes. Okay, we, I thought he was going to blow up for a sec. Silverfish? Wait, what? Am I near a stronghold? Wait, what? I thought silverfish only spawned in stronghold. Why are they spawning in here? Wait, I'm so confused. Is there a stronghold here? There might be a stronghold here. But anyway, we finished getting our 10 critical hits. And now we just have to get two kills on the chefs. So we just got to find their base first. It took a while to find, but we eventually located the chef's base, which really wasn't hard to find. It was just because my base was so far from spawn. Oh, a village. It's burning. The village is burning. Why is the village burning? Oh, oh, a super unlucky spawn. Look at this. Why is there torches? Someone may live here. There's torches here. That's not natural. Check out some of the houses. No, I see names. I see names. I see names right here. Yeah, look, look. There's a custom house and nether portal right here. No way. I came to this village because that house was burning. And it turns out they actually live here. No way. Okay, I can't let them see me. We need to get a sneak attack on them. We need to get two kills. Step in water. Okay, she see that? She may have seen me. She may have seen me. She may have seen me. I'm holding shift. I don't th I don't know if they saw me or not. No, they must not have. They must not have. Going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going for Goldie. I'm going for Goldie. Cut her off. Cut her off. Nice one down. Oh, oh, there's a chicken here! Oh, gotta go, gotta go. Shift door. Yes! Oh! They didn't get me! No way! They didn't get me with that squirt gun. Get back here, chicken. Ooh, they got me. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Go in here. This way. Oh, this way. This way. This way. Ooh. Come on. He's low. He's low. Yes, we got him. We got him. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh go, 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 go. I got an idea. Go in the village. Go in the village. Go in here. Go in here. Go in here. There we go. Go at the back. There we go. We ate. We ate. We ate. We're going to have to unlock our combat ability quick. Here we go. Ready? Jump down here into the forest and combat. 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 Boom. We got the metallic talent. We unlock it. We unlock it. We unlock it. It should be in our inventory. I just got to find it. Get into this forest. No way. This would happen, dude. This would happen. No shot. Dig in here. Oh my god. We just fell into soft snow. That could kill them. Okay. This gives me a chance. Where's the talents? Okay. We got the talents right here. Now, what do these do? These have nine attack damage. Okay. It's better than my sword. Okay. Let's dig our way out. Let's dig our way out. Let's stick around. Let's see if we can get him. Let's see if we can get him. Oh, this works as an army tool. We can break any block with this. There's one this way. There's one this way. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can get this one. I see one through this wall. Oh, this powder oh. snow is actually a threat. Bro, where is oh. he? Oh, I found him! I put him back in the snow. I put him back in the snow. Okay, we're ready. We're, we're gone. Back in the snow. Gone. Disappeared. Oh, oh, they got me. I'm nauseous. Ooh. Ooh. We got one. Oh, water, 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 water. We're nauseous. We're nauseous. Go this way. Oh. Come here, chick. No. Nice. She's gone. She's gone. She's gone. Another one down. We need to get out of here, though. We need to get out of this hole. One, two, three, four, five. We're gone. This way. He doesn't even notice. He doesn't even notice. He thinks I'm still down there. Look at <laughs> And we are gone. He had no idea. We are out of here. Okay, so we've unlocked our brand new metallic talon, which works as an omni tool that can break blocks and a sword that does as much as netherite, it seems like. So yeah, I'd say we're pretty broken as a mechanical chick at the minute. But anyway, with our new power unlocked, we can officially move on to our tier two upgrades, which includes the nano nestling, a feather mini gun, which you know I have to unlock, and waterfowl, which should give me the ability to actually swim in water and not get all wobbly on my screen. So as much as I'd like to get the feather mini gun first, I can't because only having five hearts is the hardest part of this challenge and is honestly where I'm going to die if I'm going to die. So we need to become a nano nestling with 10 hearts and you'll see we also get a few other abilities and to unlock that guy. All we need to do is get a music disc, some chainmail armor and eight sea lanterns. Now, I currently don't have any music discs. I haven't really found any, but I don't think it should be too difficult to find some down in my cave because there is several mine shafts down this way. So let's just go look for some chests we can loot real quick and see if we get like a music disc like cat or something. Ooh, some diamonds. Oh, we found a zombie spawner. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let's go up here. Let's kill the zombie. That's in here. And then let's check the chests. Oh, yeah, we got it. We got a music disc 13. And we got cat. Okay, we got two good music discs. Ooh, get off, get off, get off, get off. Okay, break the spawner for some XP. There we go. And we got some music discs done with. Okay, next on the list, we need eight sea lanterns. And to get those, we're gonna have to head to an underwater monument. And that means we're gonna need an absolute boatload of sugar cane. So that way we can trade with a villager who will give us a map to an underwater monument. Okay, here's some sugar cane right here. So let's just grab this. And now let's just keep uh, looking for a desert because uh, that's going to be where we're going to find most of our sugar cane. Okay, we're in a desert. Now we just got to actually find some water so we can get some sugar cane. Oh, there's a village right here. That doesn't really have much except for like a camel. We actually need to find a body of water so we can... What is with all the dead rabbits? What? Did you do this, the kitty? Did the cat do this? Oh, here we go. Here's some water down here. There's going to be tons of sugar cane. Let's go. Oh, wait, there we go. That's all the sugar cane we need. And now we just have to grab a stack of sand. 
And there we go, one stack of sand. Now we have the rest of the materials we need at home, so let's just head on home. And I'll split our sand up in three ways and stick it into each of these furnaces. And while that smelts, we're gonna take our sugar cane and turn a bunch of it into paper, just like so. And now we just take four oak planks, add two paper to the top of them, and that's gonna give us a cartography table. So I'll just grab our emeralds from this chest here. And now we just have to wait for the sand to finish melting. Okay, all the glass is officially done. Now we just have to turn it into glass panes like this. And now we just need to make ourselves two compasses and we'll have everything we need to actually do this trade. So I'll just get going to a village real quick. Okay, here's a village right here. Let's just go ahead and give one of these villagers a job. There's like four of you without jobs right here. How did none of you want this job? These villagers seem like they're bugging out. Let's just remove this farmer real quick and put a cartography table in its place. And let's see if anyone takes this job. You want it? Nope. What? what? He trolled me. Someone take the job. What is happening? Why? Do, why? There's literally a group of villagers here and none of them will take the job. You know what? We're going to the desert village. I give up on that other village. I have no idea what's wrong with it, but no one would take a job. Okay, let's just put this cartography table on the ground and see if someone takes this job. I'm hoping someone just kind of comes up to it. But just to be safe, let's remove a few other jobs from the village. Like if we go over to this blacksmith, we can remove his little wheel here. And now he should want to become a cartographer. Oh, wait, is that one? Oh, wait, here's a cartographer. I don't know if he's from mine, but it works. We found one. Now we trade him all our paper for a bunch of emeralds. Now we trade him glass panes for even more emeralds and then we can go ahead and get ourselves the ocean explorer map which we can follow all the way to an ocean monument though i'm not gonna lie it looks pretty far away so let's just follow the map until we get there though uh this may take a little bit oh it's starting to generate the map is starting to load we're getting kind of close to this thing okay i see a bunch of sea lanterns up ahead we just need to grab eight of them and we'll be good i can see the lights through the boat Whoa. Okay, we're here. A lot of guardians, so let's just do it. One lantern. Oh, the nausea is making this whack. Ooh, with only five hearts, actually, this is risky. Oh, this is getting weird. Okay, we broke that sea lantern, and we actually just got prismarine crystals. And that's because it turns out you have to craft sea lanterns with prismarine shards and prismarine crystals. Okay, that means we're gonna have to do a few things, including fighting these guys and mining all the lamps. So this is gonna get a little trickier than I thought. Let's start by building a safety platform up here, like this. Okay, there we go. We got a little safety platform. Now we can start fighting the guardians and gathering lamps. There we go. That's one. Okay, I think I literally just got all the things we need. We literally got all the prismarine crystals. That's 40 prismarine crystals. And now we just need to get a bunch of these prismarine shards, which we can get by battling a bunch of these guardians. Okay, we officially have all the prismarine shards and all the prismarine crystals we need. So now we finally can stop being in water and being annoyed, and we can actually just craft a bunch of sea lanterns, which is exactly what we need to do. And there we go. Now, if we throw get rid of that, we should have eight sea lanterns, which means we, now we just need one chainmail armor to become a nano nestling. But it's still nighttime, so uh, we're just gonna go to sleep and do that tomorrow. Okay, so to find chainmail armor is actually kind of tricky because we either have to get it from a zombie or from a lucky chest. But before we go and look for that, we have ten mecha eggs we can open, so let's open them up. Some stuff bad is gonna happen. We just gotta make sure we don't die. Okay, made me go blind okay next mecha egg let's do it oh, run 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 okay they should all die it's daytime okay let's do the next one not again three times in a row no way okay no we got a book oh, Morton. i hate that he just appears okay we got four more to go let's do it one run oh run okay that's a thing uh let's do another one okay i'll take more diamond stuff another one and another one Okay, we're blind again. I probably should have saw that one coming. But anyway, we didn't get any chainmail, so let's just go look for some chainmail and hope we get lucky. So, uh, now we need to get chainmail armor. And it's really hard in Minecraft Java. So knowing this, we actually installed a data pack that makes chainmail armor spawn like it's from Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Meaning, I could find chainmail inside of buried treasure chests. Okay, so let's check out this buried treasure real quick. Nope, there's no... It's gonna be in this back area. Yeah, we gotta go back in here, down here. There we go. The buried treasure should be in here. There it is. Okay, we got some buried treasure. Let's go back to the surface. Now that we have the buried treasure, we can simply follow the map to get to this. So let's just keep going along the coastline here until we find it. And hopefully we just get some chain mail inside. Right below us somewhere. I think it's going to be under the water. But let's just dig around and see if we can find it. Okay, let's try for this one right here, maybe. Oh, yeah, we found it. Wait, let's go back down. Let's open it. Uh, we got the heart of the sea. <gasps> chainmail chest plate! We got a chainmail chest plate! Yes! Oh, we're done! We finally got the chainmail! Third buried treasure was the charm. Before any of you ask, we actually added a mod to this mod pack that's changed all the drop rates to be similar to bedrock drop rates, which is the reason I can find that chainmail in buried treasure. Because I'm pretty sure in Java Edition, there's no way to get chainmail armor that I'm aware of. And that just seemed boring. But with that done, we can officially become a nano nestling, which is this cute guy right here. You're gonna notice I'm now a cute little chicken with robot arms and legs. And I also have slow fall, so when I walk off a block, I kind of glide down and Instead. And you'll see when I jump, I have this nice little hover effect that's gonna help me get away from people. But anyway, now that we're nano nestling, let's head on home. Okay, we are home. Okay, so let's just organize some of our stuff real quick. This one, there we go. And then, oh, 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 oh there's a trap here. They, they just got me stuck in a trap. Oh no. Did we get him? Yeah, we got the chicken. <sighs> oh god. Okay, that should block them. I don't have any blocks. Dig in the wall, dig in the wall, dig in the wall, dig in the wall. Go this way, go this way, go this way. 
Oh, they I hit a water cave. Wait, is this the water cave that leads to my base? No way, it is. It goes by my nether portal. Let's go. No way. Oh my goodness. They don't realize I'm behind them. Block this off. Hold on, we need to grab some of our stuff. We can get out of here. Let's grab all the important stuff we need. They can't break it. Oh, yes, they can. Oh, go, go, go. We actually, we have a better way out. We have a better way out. Not this way, not this way. Actually, we can go with the glass. Let's go with the glass. Down here, eat some food. Back over here. We're back at the base, back inside. Oh my goodness. One just died, one died, one died. Yeah, water him. Get back here. Bro, he's using glass. Oh my God, what? Oh. We got him. We got him. Oh, we still got him. Oh, he's done. Yes. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, let's get this one ready. He's done. Oh, I thought I had him with the creeper. Oh, no. Dude, let's go. We got him. We're alive. And I'll see this trap they did. What? That was. Oh, okay, so it was a pitfall trap. I fell down there, and then they planned to bow me through here. Here's all the redstone. Is it just. Oh, it's just a bunch of repeaters and sticky pistons. Oh, let's just grab all these. Okay, well, we took all their stuff. But with this base discovered, it's uh, unfortunately time to move. So uh, we'll just grab everything we kind of need, like the god apple, our diamonds, and stuff like that. And then we are out of here. Goodbye, base number one. Okay, well, with that base found, it was time to move once again. And this time, I moved a bit closer to spawn because I hate traveling thousands of blocks every time I need to look for the chefs. Okay, and welcome yourselves to Mecha Chicken Base 2.0. Uh, if I just land on this little platform here, you're gonna see this little water hole here. And this actually isn't the entrance, it's where I exit. But I figured I'd show you since I'm probably not gonna be coming back over here. The main base is over here where you see the glowstone. And funnily enough, this is actually how we get into the base. We just go to this corner right here and we're in. And you see it's pretty basic. We got a lava generator, some beds, a nether portal, an enchanting table, and all our survival stuff in here. And then like I said, if I go on this water it'll bring me all the way to the top where now i'm back outside but anyway we have a lot of work to do as a nano nestling so you guys literally right now we have one tier two ability unlocked and that's literally it we, we don't have our feather minigun nor do we have waterfowl so let's unlock the ability i've been waiting for this whole video the feather minigun okay you're gonna see that we have our quests in the corner we have to loot a jungle temple obtain is it a bird and kill five players with our metallic talent now luckily for us we actually got something earlier from a mecha egg which was this book here called a locator and if i open this book you're gonna see a bunch of stuff appears and i can locate whatever this is so as an example since i need to find a jungle temple let's just click jungle temple oh did it just tp me to one no way what no way that just happened no way and just like that we found a jungle temple there we go we did it and now we're good let's just loot the chest there's one down here right there and had nothing in it there should be another one over here yep here it is you got a saddle? Okay, now we're good to go. So with that complete, we now have to get Is It a Bird, which requires us to look at a parrot through a spyglass. Now, if I knew that the locator book was going to TP me to a jungle, I probably would have made the spyglass first, because uh, now we have to go home and make one of those, and then come all the way back to this jungle to look for a parrot. So I went home and made a spyglass that would help me get the Is It a Bird advancement. Then I simply headed back to the jungle where I just came from. However, there was no parrots there. So I had to look for a totally different jungle where I found a couple of parrots. I found one. Look at him. He looks so cute too he's one of the gray ones with yellow and orange that's my favorite color so let's look at him through the spyglass and boom we get is it a bird and it is a bird goodbye birdie okay now that we're finally done getting the bird the sun is starting to set so let's go home okay so now let's make our way back to the village where we saw our friends earlier and let's go battle them one more time because we need five kills with our metallic talent to unlock this ability and then once we get the kills we can shoot him with the feather minigun so this is gonna be worth it let's go okay their base is literally just past this weird burned down house yep it's right up there i see the base i see the base what is that hold on hold on hold on hold on get Cover, getting cover, getting cover. They're all right there. They're all right there. No way. Oh my goodness. What is that? There's a cage right there. Okay, there's one solo in this house. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna guess that that cage is there to. Oh, doop, 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 doop. come on, come on, come on, come on. The others are gonna come back. I gotta hurry. Oh, he got me. He got me. Ow! There we go. We got one. We got one. Run, run, run. Go, go, go. I'm assuming that cage is to capture me. And if they capture me in that cage, I think I lose. Okay, go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Up here, up here. They definitely have a net in their hand. They definitely have a net in their hand. Eat this food. Eat this food. Eat this food. They're squirting. Oh, yes, 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 this works. This works. Go down this hill. Oh, no, they captured me. Wait. I R B N S U Z F F H W R B P Y S Y. I got him. I got him. I got him. I got him. Nice. We actually just won this. What is it, like day 30? They're gonna, they're gonna win. They're gonna win. They're gonna win. No, 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 no. <gasps> we escaped. Oh, we escaped. Uh, wait, what? Wait, wait, go away! Oh, I didn't even finish the letters. I think there must be a timer. No way, I'm the time. There's no way I'm typing all that before the timer. That's ridiculous. We still need a bunch of kills with our talent. Okay, let's go this way. We should get break up back into the village. There we go. We're back out. We're back out. We're back out. Oh, we can't get hit by that net. We can't get hit by that net. No way. They, yes, they, yes, they messed it up. Yes, if they right click again, it drops me. It literally drops me. Okay, they have 30 seconds to capture me once they have me in that net. 30 seconds. We need to be super careful. We need to get kills with these talons and not get caught. So we need to fight them super far away so there's no way they can catch me even if they get me in the net. Oh, they're trying to bow me. Okay, let's go this way. This is going to be powdered snow again. This honestly may not be a bad idea to get the kills so they can't net me. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. This actually isn't a terrible idea. We're going to take a little frost here. Go over to this dirt. Come on. There we go. We're in. Now we gotta wait for them to come down and get some kills. And let's just break out the bottom ground because we'll see their feet. Oh, they put water down. They put water down. Nice. We can get this kill here. Nice. That's another one dead. Dead, dead, dead. Yes, yes, yes. 
One dead. He's here. He's here. Ah! Come on. Yes. Come on. Yes. Ah! Yes. Okay. That's four. That's four. That's four. That's four. We just need to wait for one more. We just need to get one more kill. Come on. Where are they? And there's one. They're coming over. Let's go in here. There's one on their own in the back. That's the one we're going to go for. He found me? How did he find me? How did they know I was even there? Ah! We killed him. We killed him. Go, go. Taking a lot of damage. Go, go this way. Hold on. We need to. Oh, God. Go under here, back this way, back this way, dig under this tree. No! We did it, we typed it, go, go! We're gonna have to run, get in the snow, we're gonna go back for the snow, go back for the snow, go back for the snow. Oh, we got bowed, we got bowed. Go down here, down here, down here. Dig this way. Yes, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Eat some food. Okay, we're out. Oh, nope, they're here, they're here, they're here. Back down, back down. Let's unlock our new combat ability. We got the minigun, we got the minigun, it's in our inventory. Oh, what is this? No! We got it. At least he's dead. We got one with the minigun. It's recharging. Let's go this way. Go, 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 go. This is our chance to get away. We got the minigun. We got the minigun. We got the minigun. They didn't see me get out. They didn't see me get out. Be very careful not to get powdered snow down in the forest. Oh my goodness. We're gone. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. Let's go. We actually got out of that. We are safe and we are out of here. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That was crazy. Like, I really should not be alive right now because we were literally seconds away from being caught in their cage and it was game over already. So I'm glad we now have a ranged move that shoots out rapid feathers because, oh my goodness, we were in trouble without this. And now that that's done, we luckily can work on our next upgrade. And now that it's done, we can actually work on our last tier two upgrade, which is Waterfowl. And we need this ability because I really have to stop that being nauseous in water. It's getting old quick. I'm not going to lie, though. I expected the feather minigun to be a little bit stronger than it was. It really didn't do that much. Hopefully, we can get some kills with it later. But again, now let's just go back to Waterfowl. To unlock it, we just have to get eight Echo Shards, 32 Glow Berries, and one Brewing Stand. And since our Nether Portal's right here, let's start by getting that Brewing Stand. Now, luckily, Brewing Stands are super easy. It's just a Blaze Rod with three Cobblestone. So let's just head to another fortress real quick and kill a blaze for its rod okay blazer should start spawning right here so just okay there we go we got two blaze rods which is all we need from the nether so now we literally just take three cobblestone throw it with the blaze rod and boom we got ourselves a brewing stand next to unlock waterfowl we need either 32 glow berries or eight echo shards so let's start by getting the glow berries mostly because there's a bunch of lush caves literally just a little bit of ways okay so let's just grab a bunch of these glow berries from here Okay, there we go. We got 34 glow berries, which is all we needed. And now we literally just need to get eight echo shards. And the only place to get that is an ancient city, which I haven't found yet. So since we're already in the caves, let's go see if we can find one. Okay, so earlier I found these skulk caves, which is why I think there might be an ancient city nearby. That's why I want to start checking out these little like side paths to see if this leads anywhere. <gasps> oh, I knew it. There is an ancient city. Oh my God. That only took us a day to find. That is clutch. Now we literally just have to find some echo shards and we only need eight, which really isn't that many. So we should be able to find that without any issue. We need to start looting some chests. So let's just go over here. We got a chest right here. Four echo shards to start. No way. Okay. There's another chest literally right here. I don't even care if we set off a shrieker right now. Screamer. Oh yeah, we got one. We set one off. I should have seen that coming. Check these out. Nothing in this one. What about in this one? Swift sneak, but no echo shards. Oh, there we go. Two more echo shards. We just need two more. Okay, the second we open this, that shrieker's going off. Oh, dang it. Nothing. Okay, let's keep going. There we go. Two echo shards. Literally the last ones we needed. Now we'll just give ourselves these XP bottles. And we are out of here. Wait, actually, before we go, I think I can just unlock waterfowl. I can. And now we no longer get nauseous underwater and breathe underwater and swim underwater much faster. And now that we can swim underwater, tier two is complete. And that pop sound means we just got another mecha egg. And actually, I think I have a bunch in the chest. Oh, yeah, we got a bunch. We have a stack plus 18. We should probably open them, to be honest. So let's just store up a bunch of our stuff and let's open those real quick. And then we'll start working on our tier three upgrades. Okay, this is far enough away where I feel safe. So let's just do the first one. Of course, it's a warden. He'll disappear. Second one, we got another locator book. That's good. Next, more diamond tools. Diamonds, yes, this is the one I wanted. I need more diamonds. Give me all the diamonds. Okay, I gotta be really careful. I haven't gotten the pitfall one in a while, which makes me nervous. TNT, TNT. Next one. TT again! No, run! Okay, we're gonna rapid fire these. Ready? I just did sit. Oh, TT and. Oh, that was not smart. That was not smart. That was not smart. Oh, one of those almost just hit me. Oh my goodness, it blew up right there. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm dropping the diamond armor because I actually have too much diamond stuff. Oh, a golden egg. We got a golden egg in our inventory. Okay, that's useful. That's like a golden apple. Not again, really? Oh, thank God this falls into a cave again. There's my other one from earlier. Okay, next. Blindness. I'm going down again! Run! Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! You know what? I think that's enough opening of these eggs for now. Let's just work on our next tier three upgrade, which we've got to go for Amped Cluck, because I need more combat powers. So let's get to work. All we have to do is kill one Ravager, obtain the advancement this boat has legs, and get seven kills with our minigun. So if we want to actually kill a Ravager, we're going to have to start a raid at a village. And to do that, we just have to head to a Pillager Outpost and get Bad Omen. So let's quickly head to one of those. Okay, here it is, right in front of me. Now we just got to find a Pillager with a banner, right? First one that's I find, literally. And now that we killed the one with the banner, 
Manor, we have Bad Omen. And now we just need to go to a village and start a raid and kill a Ravager. And luckily for me, there's a village literally right here, so let's get raiding. Oh, the raid's beginning. Yep, 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 here they are. Oh, there's a lot of them. There's one more. There's one more. Where is he? Oh, he must be dead. I think the Iron Golem got him. Okay, where are they coming from? There they are. No Ravager yet. No Ravager yet. Oh, he did a lot. Okay, two down. Eat some food. Get him, Golem. Yeah. Okay, there's one more. There's one more. Where is he? There's one more somewhere. Is there like a mob trap down here or something? Yeah, it did. Look, there's one right here. There he is. Hello. Okay, we made it back to the village. I see a Ravager. That's my only goal. I don't really care about the raid after this. We're just gonna go for that Ravager. Okay, keep him away. Okay, keep this guy on us. We just need to kill him. Ooh, he got me low. He got me low. He got me low. Ooh, he got me low. He got me low. Ooh. Okay, we're healing. We're healing. We're healing. Let's get another one of those golden eggs. Let's fight him. One more. Come on. He's got to be low. Yes, we got him. He's dead. Yes, we killed a Ravager. Okay, I think I may have lost the raid, though. I don't even know if I'm going to help him, though. Uh, I'm not going to lie. In fact, you know what? Good luck, villagers. I hope you survive. Okay, so now we've officially killed a Ravager. There's only two more quests to go. And we're going to work on this boat as legs because that's one of my favorite advancements. Let's just go to our chest real quick and grab our saddle, which is right there. And now we just got to craft together a quick fishing rod, which we can turn into a warp fungus on a stick once we get to the nether. I don't even know if I need that, to be honest. Oh, wait, there's literally one right here. So I might as well grab it just to be safe. We combine this fishing rod with that blue mushroom. And we get ourselves a warp fungus on a stick. And now we just got to find a strider in the lava over here. Okay, there is a bunch of striders in the lava ahead, but I have no way to get out there to get to them. So honestly, I'm going to have to break a bunch of blocks to do this. I'm going to need a lot of nether act just to get out there and get on one so let's just grab a bunch of blocks real quick oh we're getting close we're getting close to these striders let's keep going yeah, let's go let's go let's go let's go put a saddle on him we can ride him put the warp fungus on a stick and then we just gotta ride him for a bit and we should get this boat as legs and i think we just gotta right click it right yep oh that's a problem oh my goodness run run we're not dealing with that in fact you just carry me back to my nether portal because we're done with you okay so now we just have to get seven kills with our minigun so we're going back to the village to kill my friends once again Ooh. Okay, their base is abandoned. There's nothing left inside. Beds are gone. Chests are gone. Now that I know the base is abandoned, I kind of want to check out this cage, but I want to be careful because if I step inside this cage, I'm pretty sure I lose the game. I'm not going near this cage, but just know if I get caught in that cage, I lose. And now let's go find the chef's new base and let's go turn them into some chicken nuggets. After just over two days of searching, I found their base on day 46. Ooh, I can see them. I'm having that glitch again where I can see them in the world. They're definitely over here. Oh, there they are. Look at that. There's a tower. Okay, here we go. Let's go this way. Let's go up here. I can't tell if they know I'm coming or not. Oh, there's a cage. I gotta be very careful of that cage and not get caught by their nets. Here we go. We got one. Ready? And watch. That's exactly what we wanted. That should kill him. That should kill him. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. That's one down. Oh, there's one on us. This way, this way, this way. We can't get caught in the net. Let's go to the water. We cannot get caught in a net. Go this way. Oh, we're out of ammo. We're out of ammo. Go underwater. Go underwater. Okay, time for the next kill. We, I can't see them in the water. Oh, there he is. Found him. Keep getting him with it. Hiding in the grass, bro. Oh, we got him. Yes. Oh, my God. Let's get in a tree. Let's get in a tree. Yes. That's another one down. There we go. We moved over here. Now, as they try to come, I'm just going to keep whacking him down. Ready? Okay. He's starting to prayer. We got we got ammo again. Oh, there we go. We can kill him here. This ability is so dumb. This ability. Oh. Yes. There we go. That's four. That's four. Oh, okay. One's below us. Come on. Please. Oh, no, we got to wait for the cooldown. How is he not dead? Go into the forest. Go under here. Back up here. <laughs> nice. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Let's go back to the tree. Let's go back to the tree. That was a great place to fight was this tree. Go right back up here. Let's drop a mecha egg. That was not what I wanted to happen, but that's okay. Oh, he saw that. Hold on. We can get him here. I have an idea. I have an idea. Watch this. Go across. Oh, gosh. No, no, no. Hey, there's water here. Yes. Oh, we got him down that hole. He didn't die. He didn't die. He didn't die. There must be water down there. Yep. Okay. Two down that hole. But now we can just kind of do this. Okay, we have to wait for the cooldown. There's two down there. I don't see where the third is yet. Oh, there's one coming up. There's one coming up. Hold on. <laughs> nice. We got it. We got one. We got one. There's one right here. Oh, he's coming in with a net. That was a net in his hand. That was a net in his hand. Oh, that's a squirt gun. Quick to the water. To the water. To the water. To the water. He's trying to either squirt me or net me. But either way, we're going to the water. He can't catch me here. Ooh, I do not like that. I put him right next to me. Let's go to land. Do not let him get me with that net. Let's go back this way. Oh, there's one up here. There's one up here. Oh, they're on me. They're on me. They're on me. I'm gonna kill the one with iron armor because that's gonna be way easier. Whoop! Gotta go. No, he got me in. Oh, he missed. He missed. He missed. Oh, down here. No, no, no. No, he got me in. S A T A O D L J M Y K R W P O A V M P. Oh, I have it, bro. Yes. Let's go. I'm taking him away. W E. Oh my God. A J Z B. We're free. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Go for water. Yes. There we go. There we go. We're underwater. We swim much faster than they do. Okay, let's get back on land. Okay, we can kill him here. We can kill him here. We can kill him here. This is gonna be at this tree. This tree. Watch this. Watch this. Here they come. Okay, he took some fall damage. That's exactly what we wanted. That should kill him. That should kill him. No way. He hit that. Oh my god, I saved it, bro! Would you die already? 
There we go. He splatted. Yes! We can unlock our new ability, though. Amped Cluck, which should prevent them from netting me in the future. So let's go and let's try it out and make sure. Oh, they're looking for me. Did he see me? Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Go, 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 go. Ready? And Warden, scare him. Please scare him. Go straight, go straight, go straight. Watch this, watch this, watch this. If I use this ability, I think it should. <laughs> yep, it levitates him. And now I can. Dude, what? What is this? Ah! He can't do anything. He floats. He can't do anything. Oh, we got two on us, two on us, two on us. Oh, we're actually in trouble. Hold on. Run. I think that was TNT. Either TNT or diamonds just rained from the sky. Or I just got a golden egg. I don't know. Oh, it was TNT! What? Oh, Jose! My God! Oh, God, run! Oh, I got all of them! No way! That's our chance to get away! Go, 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 go! Get out of here! There goes that base. Now, normally I would at least try and pack my things before going to a new base. However, that base got nuked. So since I don't have a base anymore or any stuff for that matter, let's rebuild once again. And this time, let's build a base in the open so there won't be any hidden TNT traps. Okay, so our last base kind of went. So welcome to our new base. It kind of looks like a giant nest. Or at least that's what I was going for with all of our basic survival stuff that we're going to need in this automatic chicken farm. I guess you could say I'm just kind of messed up. But now that we have a new base of operations, we can continue working on our upgrades, meaning we can finish this obsidian beak and to finish it we need to get a bunch of crying obsidian so let's go to the nether and see what we can get there so let's just go down this way and let's go find a fresh bastion that we can go to because odds are we'll be able to get some crying obsidian there okay there's a bastion right here in front of us with a bunch of chests so i'm gonna just loot this gotta get the brute's attention first come on come on okay they're all dead now I'll just go in here and see if we can get some crying obsidian uh, nope, no crying obsidian in there. Just a bunch of iron. What about the little chest? Ooh, we got some ancient debris and a bunch of arrows and some regular obsidian, but no crying obsidian. There should be a chest down here. Yeah, there we go. We got five crying obsidian, which unfortunately is literally one less than what we needed. So we got to find one more. Okay, let's go down here and see if there's a chest in my best bet. Oh, yeah, here's one right here. No crying obsidian in this one. Okay, now let's go check this chest over here. Oh, this brute's still here. Hold on. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. We can get it now. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> yes, two crying obsidian. Let's go. That should be all we need. And now we just need a rabbit's foot. Let's go back to the overworld and let's go get one of those okay so the easiest place to actually get a rabbit's foot is inside a desert obviously so let's just start killing some of these rabbits no way did i just get one no way the first one i killed dropped one i was just gonna use that rabbit as an example but we officially have the rabbit's foot which means we can finally unlock the obsidian beak meaning all ores are now double so as an example if i mine this one singular iron right here you're gonna see i get two iron out of it okay with that complete there's only one more upgrade to go for tier three and that's to actually become a full-grown mecha chicken and to do that we just need to get this block here called a lodestone get 32 gunpowder from creepers and uh according to this break 300 glazed terracotta i'm not gonna lie one of these is clearly easier than the rest and that's getting 32 gunpowder so let's just head out of the mines and start taking on some creepers okay there we go we officially have all the gunpowder we need now we need to either break 300 terracotta or a lodestone and since a lodestone's kind of complex i'm gonna start by grabbing that now currently we have an ancient debris on us and to get that netherite ingot we're gonna actually need four ancient debris which means we need three more so let's just head to the nether and let's start mining some ancient debris we want to get kind of like a little away from the lava and dig down there we go we got ancient debris we got one and now we have four netherite scraps which means we can go back home we can combine it with a bunch of our gold and get ourselves one netherite ink and now to finish the lodestone we just need to get a bunch of chiseled stone bricks so let's quickly make ourselves a stone cutter by throwing a stack of cobblestone inside the furnace okay now we take this three stone combine it with one iron to get ourselves a stone cutter and now we'll just put this over here for safekeeping okay so let's bring some stone over to this stone cutter real quick and select the chiseled stone brick and we can make ourselves chiseled stone brick now as we see we actually need eight to make the lodestone so uh we'll just grab four more stone out of here when it's done and boom now we have all the stone brick we need take all that chiseled stone put the netherite in the middle and we get ourselves the lodestone and now we just need to break 300 glazed terracotta which means we have to head to a glazed terracotta biome or whatever that biome is actually called but as you can see the sun is setting behind the mountain right now so we're just gonna wait a sec and then we'll go to bed and tomorrow we'll finish up this quest okay perfect and here is all the glazed terracotta so first things first i just need to mine a bunch of colored terracotta so let's just go up here to like the yellow or the red and let's just grab a bunch of this Okay, and there we go. We have 300 terracotta total. So now we're just gonna bring all this terracotta home and smelt it into glazed terracotta. Okay, so now let's just grab a bunch of lava from our lava generator. Now let's go ahead and let's add lava buckets to each one of our furnaces. And now we'll add a stack of red terracotta to each of these furnaces. And now we'll just wait for that to finish. Okay, I'm getting a little nervous. It's still smelting and it's nighttime. I don't wanna die, so I'm gonna go hide in here now. You don't get to see the cool furnace visuals anymore. I'm hiding in here. So instead, play the best music in the game, Other Cat. <laughs> done 
done. Okay, all my glazed terracotta is officially done. And then I think we can officially become a mecha chicken. Now, while the sun rises behind me, I can tell you about this new chicken. You're gonna notice right off the bat, I have 20 hearts of HP. I also get speed three, resistance three, and strength two. But that's actually not all I get because I also get this awesome new look where I look like a metallic chicken. Like I, I really do this time. I mean, come on, look how cool this model looks. Which means now that we're done unlocking our mecha chicken, it's time to move on to our tier four upgrades. And you know what that means. It's time to unlock the homing egg. The ability I've been waiting for this whole video. This ability should be crazy. And to unlock it, all I have to do is loot eight ancient city chests, get the post-mortal advancement, and kill 10 levitating players. And actually, there's one of these I can do really, really fast because I literally found a fresh ancient city while I was exploring earlier. So I'm just gonna head over there real quick and loot that and we'll already have the first quest complete. Okay, here's the ancient city here. Let's just jump on down and we just gotta loot eight chests. There's actually one there. So let's kind of float in this direction. There we go. That's one chest looted. Okay, there we go. Second chest looted. Okay, we got a double chest right here. This will summon a warden if I do this though. So we're gonna just be quick. Ready? One, two, grab those. Bye-bye. Oh, it didn't summon a warden. Wait, what? We're still good. Okay, cool. Three more chests to go. Okay, there should be a chest up here. I don't see any shriekers around, so I think we'll be okay. There we go. There's another chest. Let's loot this one next. This will be seven. And now we have one more to go. One more chest and we are done. I'd really like to do it without summoning a warden if we can. Okay, last chest. Here we go. Nice. We did it. We got eight out of eight chests. There's actually another one right here we can loot. That might summon a warden. That might summon a warden. Oh, it did, it did, it did. We got all the chests looted. We're just gonna get out of here. I don't even want to deal with that warden. Okay, so to do the next quest, we just have to get the post-mortal advancement, which means we gotta activate a totem of undying. And luckily for us, we made a cartographer earlier, um, but then we kind of left everyone in the village to die. <laughs> So I'm pretty sure that cartographer is gone. So uh, we're gonna need to make a new one. So let's just quickly head to the desert and see if he's still alive. And if he's not, eh, we'll figure it out then. Okay, we're at the village. I see the cartography table, but I don't see a single villager. They are definitely all gone. Let's just grab our cartography table back. And I'll just quickly grab a stack of sand because we're gonna need that to make a new villager leveled up. And now let's just go grab ourselves a couple stacks of sugar cane. Okay, there we go. That's all the sugar cane we needed. And now we just gotta find ourselves a cartographer to start doing some trading. Okay, right, so let's just turn all that sugar cane into paper real quick. And now let's trade with the cartographer and give him all of our paper for some emeralds. Now he'll level up as he walks away. And now we can trade him a bunch of glass panes, but that would require us to smelt all our sand first. Let's just quickly head back to smelt all this stuff together, and then we'll come back and do the trade. Okay, now we can trade this guy for a woodland explorer map. And now we're gonna follow this map all the way to a woodland mansion. Wait a minute, I'm also really dumb! Because I forgot I have these locator books in my inventory. So if I just right click and I click, Woodland Mansion. I should just appear at one, shouldn't I? No way! I didn't need to do any of that trading. That was all pointless. Let's just go in here and start looking for some totems that we can loot. That's who we need to kill right there. And we got a totem of undying. There we go. Second one gone. There we go. Another totem. Okay, I've explored this whole place. We got three total totems of undying. So now we just gotta get post mortal to actually activate. And to do that, we have to die. There we go, post-mortem. And now our second quest is officially completed. And now for the last quest, we just have to kill 10 of the chefs while they're levitating, which that should be pretty easy. So let's just head on home. How is it that I keep having to search for the hunter's bases? Like, sure, I, I get it. I keep destroying their base and stuff, but they don't have to move. Whatever, either way, I'll find them. So now it's just a matter of time. We got a village right here. I'll check it out. Is this natural? I don't think they spawn naturally this tall, do they? No way this is natural, right? Hold on. No! Oh! That's not natural. Look at that over there. There's a massive chicken. I don't even know what to call that. It kind of looks like a fast food place, like a KFC. Well, we found their base. Let's see if they're here. Okay, just some basics. Oh, gosh. Dude, he's in our base. Oh, run. We got to kill him with levitation. I got an idea. Let's jump in this tree. When he tries to get over to me, we're going to make him levitate and we'll kill him. Ready? There we go. Dude. Yes, we got him. That's one levitating player dead. He's levitating under there. We can kill this one. Nice. That's another one dead. That's two. Okay, let's eat some food. One up here. Oh, we got him in air. Yo, come on. No. Let me down. Let me down. No. Come on. Yes! yes, that's another one. That's four down. Please, dude. There we go. Another one gone. Okay, we're on the roof. Now we just need to get him up here. She's gotta be low. She's gotta be low. Yes, there we go. That's another six. Oh, we killed him in air. That's huge. There's one levitating back here now. Come on, he's gotta be low. He's gotta be low. Yes, that's eight. Nice, we got nine. Okay, there's three of them right here. Watch them all in the air. I can get the kill here. Come on. Oh, we got it. We can unlock our new ability. Let's try it. Here we go. Here we go. This is huge. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so cool. Get Goldie as well. Can I just shoot this at their base? Oh, I can. This is so busted. Okay, he's dead. Oh no, he lived that. Eat some food, eat some food. Oh, we can't eat, we can't eat. Oh, the totem pop, totem pop. We need to get the other totem on. Oh, we're in trouble. We're up to suicide. 
Oh, we lost our second totem. You know what? We're leaving. He popped his other totem, bro. We can go kill him. I am so out of here. I'm not staying. Okay, this chicken homing launcher is super cool. And I'm not gonna lie, this is exactly what I needed to make my mecha chicken go from being weak to strong. And trust me, we're gonna need it. Because as we saw, those chefs went through two of my totems of undying. And honestly, I am not as strong as I thought my mecha chicken would be at this point. So we have to keep upgrading. And honestly, what's gonna help me stay alive better than a shield of feathers? And to get that, we just need a protection book, some gas tears, and an ender chest. So let's just go to our chest and grab some books. Now let's go over to our enchanter and let's start enchanting these books till we get protection on them. Protection one, we got it. And now we just need a gas tier and ender chest. So let's go to the nether. Okay, I saw a gas stuff here. We can pull it in with the minigun. And there we go, we got a gas tier. And now we just need to get an ender chest, which we can get by simply getting an eye of ender and surrounding it with some obsidian. So while we're in the nether, let's go actually kill an enderman in here. There we go, ender pearl acquired. Okay, now let's go grab a blaze rod. There's actually one on the ground here. I must have left earlier. And now we just need a bunch of obsidian. Okay, let's put down some water right here. That'll make some obsidian. And now let's just get mining. And there we go, we got eight obsidian. So now we just simply take that obsidian, put it in a crafting table alongside the eye of ender, and we get the ender chest. Which means we can finally unlock our next tier four upgrade, the feather shield, which is a shield I get equipped in my shield slot. That you'll see when I hold right click, creates a bunch of feathers around me. And these feathers do not go away. And with that shield, I literally prevent all incoming damage for 20 seconds. And then after that, I gotta obviously switch back to my other shield. But with that done, there's one more tier four upgrade to go, and that's to become the Robo Rooster. And to get him, we need a heart of the sea, which means it's time to go out to sea and find our a shipwreck. Let's see what we got. I think it's gonna be down here. It's usually like in this back room here, right? Oh, yeah, there we go. We got access. And there it is. Buried treasure map and two smithing templates. Ooh, we're actually not too far from this X. Let's just swim to it real quick. We swim really fast underwater anyway. Okay, we're getting kind of close to where this is lining up on the map. Is it under this, this would be dumb. Okay, it is not. Okay, cool. I think based on where the map is, it's gonna be like, I mean, like right down here somewhere. We got it. Heart of the Sea located. And there we go. Just like that, we already have two quests complete. So now all we literally need are daylight sensors, which we can craft by simply getting some nether quartz, glass, and wooden slabs. So let's just go back to the base and head to the nether, and let's grab a bunch of quartz from our portal. Hello there. No! You jerk! Aww. Okay, relight it up. Back to the nether we go. Okay, so we literally double all ores that spawn. We can just break all this and get double nether quartz. Okay, there we go. That's all the nether quartz we need. So if we combine all that together, we get ourselves a daylight sensor. Now we have nine daylight sensors, which is the last thing we needed to become a robo rooster. So say goodbye to this cute robo chicken and hello to the robo rooster. That's right. I now walk on two legs. Very, uh goofily. But now we are so much stronger. I mean, look at this. We have 30 total hearts of HP. We also now have speed 5 and strength 3, meaning this chicken is super overpowered. And so now that we are a Robo Rooster, we can move on to the tier 5 upgrades. And these include stuff like the Titanium Talon, the Nuclear Egg, and finally the Mecha Booster, which I'm not gonna tell you what that does. You're gonna have to find out for yourself simply by watching. But anyway, now that we're officially on our tier 5 upgrades, let's go to the nether and let's start by getting some blaze rods. Okay, now we need to get a bunch of blaze Blaze rods. Okay, and there we go. We officially have all the blaze rods we need. And now we have to actually just go get ourselves some ender pearls at a bastion. And it's gonna have to be a fresh bastion because we need a lot of gold blocks. Okay, there's a bastion right there. Yeah, I think it's a bridge. I'm pretty sure it's a bridge. There's gonna be a bridge right here. Ready? Boom, bridge with gold blocks. Let's grab this one. Then let's jump over here. Let's grab this one. Okay, now let's go to the bottom. There should be a bunch of gold blocks down here. Okay, that gave us 14 gold blocks. That's definitely not enough. We're gonna have to make our way back up top and look around the back of the bridge because there's definitely gonna be more gold blocks there. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of gold around the back here we can grab. Okay, there we go. 27 blocks of gold. That is more than enough to get the ender pearls we're gonna need. Now we just gotta do some trading. We have 12 ender pearls. They keep throwing me ender pearls and there's still some in there. Okay, well now that we're done in here and we got all the ender pearls, it's officially time to go to the end. Now in the end, we're gonna have to get elytra and shulker shells for our mecha booster and we're gonna have to get the dragon egg. But before we actually go, I wanna enchant this sword with sharpness. Okay, sharpness two will do. So now if we go up to our smithing tables, we should be able to put in the smithing upgrade along with the sword and the netherite ingot to get a netherite sword with sharpness too. So now let's just turn all of our blaze rods into blaze powder and combine them with our ender pearls to get 16 eyes of ender that we can then throw off and find out we're going that way. Okay, let's throw the next one up this cliff. Oh, it turned around. That went down. It's literally right below us. I see stone brick. It's literally up here and we're in the library. Oh, let's go. Now we just gotta find the portal room. This could be it. <gasps> oh, chefs. Oh, there he is. Here he's here. He's here. Oh, bro. Oh my God. Chefs are here. Oh, there's lava in the way now. Pull her in the lava. She's in the lava. There we go. She's done. Go around this side. Swap my eyes in. We're in. Go. Yes. We're in. They're building over. Shoot one of my eggs. What's that? Oh. <laughs> Boom. Okay. We blew it up. Now we just got to work on getting all of these towers taken out. And luckily we have the homing egg because the homing egg's going to be able to do it for us. So I can just do this and boom, it's gone. Okay. I think all those crystals are officially gone. Now we can just take out the dragon. We're safe from the enderman in this water. Boom, we blew them both up. They were hiding in the water. Oh, no! I think they're all dead now. Now we can just worry about the dragon. Now we can get him with our homing egg. This is where we can get a bunch of damage on him. Ready? 
Oh, that did a ton. Let's kill that dragon. We can get him here. Ready? Oh, he's not dead. He's not dead. He's not dead. Take this. Shoot it down. He's gone. Now we just gotta get that dragon egg. Let's go. Oh, we just made Enderman mad though. Get away! I get rid of the Enderman. I gotta get rid of the Enderman. No! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! He got it, he got it! I have it, dude! I'm out of here, bro! Don't let him go. We're gonna try and land in the portal. I'm gonna try and stop them. Ready? Second he falls. Ready? No! He got away! Dang it! Stupid Enderman! This is your fault! Let's just go over here to this corner, get all the Enderman on me. Now we got a bunch of Ender Pearls, but the Dragon Egg is kind of uh, gone. And that's a problem because we need that to become the Titanium Talon. But uh, I guess for now, let's just go to the outer end and we'll get the Elytra we need to unlock our Mecha Booster. Because dealing with getting that egg back is honestly going to be a pain. Okay, let's see if we can hit this. If I don't hit this, I deserve to fail. Oh, I mean, I guess that worked. Whoa. There we go. We made it. And now let's go get ourselves some Elytra. Oh, we found an end city. That only took a day. That was actually pretty fast. Oh, wait, no. I don't think it has an Elytra ship. No, it's literally just two towers. Oh, that's lame. Okay, so this end city doesn't have what we need. But you'll see for Mecha Booster, we do need Shulker Shells. So let's just go ahead and kill some of these Shulkers down here real fast. Okay, there we go. We got four shulker shells. Now we just have to look for another end city that uh, hopefully has an elytra ship this time. Okay, so the chef stole the dragon egg, and now I have to get elytra in the outer end. But because I can't fly as a mecha chicken, we have to navigate the outer end the old-fashioned way. Block by block. Let's go. There's one. We just found an elytra ship. Okay, let's head over to the elytra ship, and let's get the elytra on board. Let's go. Now we just make our way down here. Oh, I don't know if we fit. Oh, we do, we do, we do. We barely fit. We can wiggle our way down and glitch through. Grab those elytra. Ooh, a sharpness for a sword. I'm taking that. Now just break on out of here. Here real quick. Now that we have Elytra in our beak, we officially have everything we need from the end. Well, everything except for the dragon egg. There's really not much we can do about that right now, so we'll worry about that in a sec. And how exactly are we gonna deal with that? Well, to be honest with you, there's only two things we can do. And step one is to go get the egg back literally right now and, and go battle those chefs. Option two is to simply finish upgrading and deal with the egg later. I don't want to wait. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of impatient, so we're just gonna go steal the egg back now really fast. Uh, or that was the plan anyway, but I kind of forgot. I nuked their base and they definitely do not live here anymore. So I have no idea where that egg so I lied. We're going with option number two. Well, I guess we'll just finish up the mecha booster. Since all we need to finish it is a golden egg. And now let's grab a bunch of our mecha eggs. Okay, we have like two stacks. That should definitely be enough to get a golden egg. Okay, let's set them off at this stone area because this looks safest. Okay, here we go. No, wait, do we... We got the golden egg on the first try. That's exactly what we needed. Well, okay, we got the golden egg, which means we can unlock our mecha booster upgrade. I put my shulker shells away. Let's just grab those real quick. And now we can unlock the mecha booster, which you can now see is gonna let me fly like I'm in creative mode. But not only that, if I activate the mecha booster ability, you're gonna see this happens. I start flying really fast. Like, look at this. This is insane how fast I'm flying. And now that we have a way to fly, getting our dragon egg back actually just got a lot easier because all we have to do is fly around till we find their base, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so even with the power to fly, I cannot find where the chefs are living right now. I only spent like 10, 15 minutes looking, but I thought with my flight ability, I should find them pretty quick and I just didn't. So instead, let's finish another one of our tier five upgrades. More specifically, let's get everything else we need for the titanium talent, except for the dragon egg, which means we only need two items, a beacon, and a bunch of instant health potions. So potions of instant health are honestly pretty easy, because as you can see, all you have to do is take an awkward potion and add a glistening melon slice to it to get a potion of healing. And obviously to make a glistening melon, you just surround a bunch of gold nuggets with a melon. So let's do that. Now I currently don't have a brewing station set up here, because I didn't think I was going to need one, but we do. So let's go to the nether and let's start getting some brewing set up. So what we're going to do is quickly head to a nether fortress, and we're going to get some blazes so we can make some brewing stands, and hopefully some nether warts so we can make some awkward potions. Okay, so now that we have the blaze rods, we just have to get some nether warts, but uh, this place doesn't have nether warts. Like, I've flown around this whole fortress, and there's nothing here for nether warts, so we're gonna have to fly to a different one real quick. And luckily, there's one right here. There we go. Boom. Nether warts. And now we have almost everything we need to make these potions. Except for the glistening melons, of course. And to get the glistening melons, we just have to go to a jungle real quick and break some melons. Okay, here's the jungle right here. Let's just look for some melons. Okay, that should be enough melon slices. We combine these with our melon slices. We can get ourselves a bunch of glistening melons. Now we should take our blaze rods and put them right here. Give them each a little bit of fuel. We just add the glistening melon, and these should turn into instant health potions. And there we go, potion of instant health. And booyah, we have all nine potions of instant health that we need to become the titanium talon. And now we just need a beacon and our dragon egg back. And to get a beacon, we have to get a bunch of wither skeleton skulls in the nether. So let's just make our way back to the nether fortress real quick and start taking on a bunch of wither skeletons for their skulls. Okay, cool. We got all three wither skeleton skulls. Now we just need to actually go grab some soul sand real fast. Okay, this little island has some soul sand. And we don't need much. We'll just grab four of this. And now it's time to actually battle this wither. So let's just put down our blocks like this. And here we go. Battle time. 
Okay, there we go. The wither is dead, and we have his nether star. Okay, cool. So now that we have that, we just need to make ourselves a beacon. So we'll just take obsidian, glass, star, and we got a beacon. And now we just need the dragon egg to become the titanium talent. But for obvious reasons, we gotta wait. Because if we look at the other upgrade we have to unlock, we need to get the bring home the beacon advancement, which means we don't want to get rid of this beacon quite yet. Wait, can I just do that now? So we just take diamond blocks, put them like this, put the beacon down. Oh, there we go. Boom, bring home the beacon. Now we can cash on the beacon. So we'll just grab it back now that we got that. And now we might as well just build a nice diamond block chair just to show how rich we are. Okay, so for our next quest, we just have to destroy 5,000 blocks using our homing egg. And I figured since this village is abandoned anyway, we might as well just homing egg the whole village. See, there's 681 blocks. Okay, there we go. We've destroyed 5,000 blocks with our homing egg. And now there's literally only a couple things left to do. We obviously need to get our dragon egg back. And then the only other quest you can see on screen, I have to kill 10 players with fall damage. But for obvious reasons, we need to find out where the chefs are hiding to even go for those levitation kills. So uh, I guess let's start looking and see what we can find. There was just one problem. I couldn't find their base. I couldn't find the egg. And in fact, I couldn't even find the chefs, which is weird because with under 10 days to kill me, they lose if I survive till day 100. Though it would be lame to not be able to upgrade fully a win is a win so if i can't find them i'll just wait for them to come to me what was that i heard an explosion oh what is this oh my god i just found glowstone it's recent too because there's cobblestone on the ground oh there's one of them down there oh god dude he's here is there base under my base okay let's just shoot the egg down ready Okay, we blew one up. We gotta find their beds down here. There we go. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Oh, that's a cage. Be careful. We gotta be extra careful. Where's the dragon egg? I see more down here. Yes, they have chests. Oh, there's one in here. Oh, we gotta be careful. We can't get netted here. Here, watch this. I'm gonna drop this book on the ground, see if it works. Wait, what is this thing? He's reading the book. He's reading the book. Wait, hold on. Click it. He clicked it. Oh, I gotta get out of here. I got teleported to an ocean monument. I love you, Jose, but I cannot believe you fell for that. Where's their beds? I don't think they're respawning. Wait, what? This wouldn't be the dragon egg, would it? Oh, it is. It's the dragon egg. Why did they bring this here? Break this, and we get the egg. Yes, it's ours. I'm so confused at what just happened. I think they were still setting up for something. I think I caught them off guard by finding them too soon. Because I don't know what their plan was there. Or if they even had a plan there. I really don't know. But we got the egg back. So I guess that means we can turn into the Titanium Talon. And boom, we're the Titanium Talon. Kind of looks like a Transformer, but mixed with a chicken. But anyway, now that that's done, um, not gonna lie. We only have like one and a half days left. And we still haven't gotten the nuclear egg. And if there's only one thing left I have to do, I want to get it. So I'm going to give the hunters a little bit of incentive. I'm going to put in you guys each get dollars 100 if you can kill me tomorrow and now i expect them to be here tomorrow oh that looks so cool we have like a blue halo why do i hear arrows oh there's arrows all around me what boom right up there i see one i need to get these kills with fall damage oh there's two of them i got an idea he needs to die of fall damage after i hit him so now i can whack him and he should die of fall damage okay there he goes there he goes there he goes Oh, he's done. What? Oh, I'm still alive? Right, my base is hay bales. They survive if they land on hay bales. I forgot. Wait, did he, he die? I see a death in chat. He definitely died. Wait, I'm so confused. Oh, one just tried to fall damage. Yep, there we go. Oh, the other one just took fall damage. I want to see if I can yoink them out of mountains. That's going to do the most damage if I can yoink them with this minigun. Keep building up. Do it. Okay, you fall. <laughs> And dead. Oh, I'll take that any day. That's huge. Stop. Look <laughs> How high are we? Oh, my God. Good luck with that. Come here, you stupid chicken. That should just kill her, right? Oh, she's done. And then Jose should die any second now. Surely I survived this. <laughs> there he is. Okay, now we just need to kill this one. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. He's not surviving this. You are not surviving this. He's going to try and hit me on the way down. <laughs> That's not happening. No. No. <laughs> Booyah. And now we can unlock the nuke right as the sun is setting on day 99. Now, I don't know what this does. And you know what? It's day 99. So I don't care what happens to this base. Let's nuke it. Oh, my God. It's going to explode in a minute. Don't worry. I'll, I'll contain it, dude. I'll contain it. Are they trying to block it off? You can't block off a nuke. They haven't even tried to whack it. They could literally destroy it if they wanted to. Cover it up. Cover it up. Oh, God. Two, one. Goodbye. Oh, my gosh. The whole server was destroyed after the crash. Uh, Hunters, what, what do we do here? Um, because, obviously, it crashed before we could finish our little fight. Dude, honestly, I have no idea. Uh, well, you're too strong. Let's let the audience decide. Oh, I like that. Okay, you know what? Because the server crashed mid-fight during the final fight, I wouldn't feel right saying the Mecha Chicken wins because I'm sure the Hunters still had something up their sleeve. So we're going to let you in the comments decide who won this video. Was it the super strong Mecha Chicken with all of his Mecha powers? Or did the three chefs do enough to deserve a win? Let us know in the comments below.